And in light of yesterday's shooting, we here at Channel 2 feel that it's very important to have a conversation about safety and preparedness. That's why Two On Your Side's Erica Brecker spoke with a local defense strategy company on the best ways to protect yourself and others. It's not something we think about regularly, but maybe we should. You walk into your workplace or a restaurant or a mall without a worry. Defensor Incorporated is a local company that hopes to make you more aware of your surroundings, like where the exits are or where you could take cover in the event of a shooting. I said yesterday, these are the times we are living in, sadly. That's Cheek Tawaga Police Chief David Zack referring collectively to the numerous shootings around the U.S., including yesterday's, which had the potential to be devastating in his own town. Defensor Incorporated in Grand Island wants people to be ready. When they work with groups, one of the main techniques they teach is behavior detection. A person who is going to do something like this is going to show some signs of discomfort, of anxiousness usually, um, some odd behaviors. There are even just some basic profiling techniques you can use to just look at a situation and say, which one of these people is not like the other. Tuesday's shooting at a Dollar General is a reminder that it can happen here too. The accused, Travis Green, had more than 800 rounds with him. I think it's safe to assume that his intent was to do significant harm. Steve Filano, director of partnerships at Defense Incorporated, says it's simulation training using this kind of event that'll teach you where you fall short. A lot of folks have trouble speaking. They have trouble dialing a phone. They have trouble communicating information. They have trouble remembering their own names sometimes. Then there's coming to terms with your own fear. Rounds firing must be fireworks. We always try to rationalize away that danger. Uh, what we train people to do is not do that. Trust your instincts. That's the best defense mechanism you have. And assess your environment. Where are you concealed versus where can you take cover? Filano says concealment is a place to hide where cover is a place that'll stop a bullet. But just being in what's called condition yellow as opposed to condition white, which is obliviousness, you know, head in your phone as you're walking around. Condition yellow is just casually observing things and taking note of what's happening. So that if you have to jump into condition red, a high alert scenario that requires focus, you're ready. The folks at Defensor say there's really no technological answer to this. Security cameras, for example, typically only help after the fact. They're not really proactive. But taking it upon yourself to take a tactical medical course where you learn how to properly tie a tourniquet could save a shooting victim's life but taking that preparedness initiative is on you. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.